Hi, I'm Sam Whittle from Adelaide, Australia, and I'm here at the ACR 2018 in Chicago. I've just been at a really great gout abstract session, and there were a ton of highlights from that session, but I wanted to talk to you about just one abstract that was presented by Hyun Choi, and it was looking at data from the health professionals uh, follow-up study, and it essentially showed that 80% of the population attributable risk for incident gout, so for new onset gout, can be accounted for by only five factors. That's uh, weight, healthy diet, use of diuretics, uh, alcohol consumption, and use of uh, vitamin C supplements. So uh, there's really two conclusions that I draw from this. Firstly, it tells us that uh, like many chronic diseases, gout is a, a highly socially determined disease. And so social factors are probably what shapes its distribution in the population. Secondly, what it tells us um, is that we need to have the mental flexibility to think about how we manage gout in two different ways. When, we, when we're treating gout, uh, treating prevalent gout, we're, we're thinking about it from the individual patient level. We have to choose the right uh, treatment for the right patient in their individual circumstances. But when it comes to preventing gout, we need to think about it at a social level, uh, at a population level, and try and prevent uh, or change the structures that lead to those social determinants that have led to the boom in gout incidents uh, over the last couple of decades. So for more updates just like this one, stay tuned to roomnow.com.